Well, welcome to Fai Master Yoga. Last day of our retreat in Morocco. It's been amazing. And we're gonna do a class tonight that's kind of a gentle yoga and then we'll move into some restorative poses. And by the end, we'll be relaxed. And some of us are going to ride a camel after this. <laughs> so we'll be ready for camel riding, those who are hopping on that camel. So to begin, let's grab our two blocks and we'll set them up one at a higher way and one a little bit lower and we're going to lean back on the blocks. So the one that's in the lower position, it will land right at the bottom tips of the shoulder blades and the other one is for the back of your head. So when you lean back, it should be right, kind of right about where your bra strap goes across, ladies. and. You know where a bra strap goes across, so it's all good. <laughs> and then the other one underneath your head. Now, you can choose to extend your legs all the way out, but that might be harsh on your lower back. So you can also choose to bend your knees, feet on the floor, or soles of feet together, knees apart is also a nice, comfortable way to go. Then decide if you feel like the blocks are too intense. If they feel too intense, then you'll lower the blocks down a notch. So the one underneath your back, put it on the lowest. The one under your head, put it on the medium. Or if you want something that's a little more intense, a bigger opening in your upper back, then put the one that's under your head down a notch lower and you'll feel more sensation in your upper back. And then most importantly, begin to connect in with your breath. Do you want it lower? Yeah. Okay, try this. Oopsie. Mm. Thanks. Does that feel okay? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Start to come into your ujjayi pranayama. Keeping the breath steady so that your inhales and your exhales are equal in length. Feel free to close your eyes if you like. This one just a little bit lower. Okay. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then just take a moment to scan your body and see if you have any areas that feel like you're holding tension. If you feel tension any place, just allow those areas to soften and relax. And then take a moment to set a personal intention for your practice. This could be any intention, perhaps intending to relax, release, let go. Perhaps intending to be an observer of your practice rather than a critic. All intentions are always welcome. Continue your steady breathing. And allow where the block is in your upper back, just allow your upper back to melt into that block. Imagining that you're getting some opening in the upper back and also opening in the chest, the collarbones widening. And now as you take your next inhale, we'll reach the arms up and over in line with the ears. And then bend your elbows and hold on to your elbows or your wrists. And then let the arms hang down toward the floor. That's kind of intense. And if it's too intense for how you're feeling right now, then you can return your arms by your sides. Let's stay here for three long breaths. Just noticing that this might feel better up a little bit higher on your back. Okay, try that. Is that better? Okay, thank you. 
And now extend your arms again, inhale. And then put the other forearm on top and once again hold on to your wrists or elbows. And then allow the arms to hang back toward the floor. But again, if it's becoming too intense in your shoulders and in your upper back, then just release the arms by your sides. Two more long breaths here. Good. And then slowly release your arms by your sides. Bend your elbows and just press your palms onto the floor next to your hips. Take a breath in. As you exhale, lift yourself straight up off of the blocks and then slide your blocks off to the sides. But then lie on your back again and this time with your knees bent. Good. Walk your heels in so that your heels are underneath your knees. And make sure that your feet are hip socket distance apart and that the outer edges of your feet are parallel. So we're not going to move quite into bridge yet. First, we're just going to lift the hip bones toward the lower ribs, so it's a little pelvic tilt. So as you inhale, lift your hip bones toward your lower ribs, just a little lift, good. And then as you exhale, go the opposite direction so you get a little arch in your lower back. So it's just, a pel just moving the pelvis, good. Once again, as you inhale, you'll lift, just lifting the hip bones toward the lower ribs, lengthening the lower back. And then exhale, go the opposite direction, stretching out the belly and getting a little arch in the lower back. Good. Once again, inhale, lift the hip bones toward the low ribs, pressing the lower back gently into the floor. And exhale, arch the lower back. Yep, keeping the hips down. Good. Now come to neutral so that there's a little bit of arch in the lower back, but you're not increasing it and you're not pressing the lower back down. Then lift the hip bones once again toward the lower ribs so you're gently pressing the low back into the floor. Press down into the heels and now inhale, lift the hips, the low back, the mid back. And then as you exhale, just lower down one vertebra at a time. Good. Keep the chin lengthened away from the chest and the neck long. And same action. First, lift the hip bones toward the lower ribs, pressing low back into floor gently. And then inhale to lift into bridge. Spiral the thighs in toward each other, good. And then exhale, lower one vertebra at a time. Really nice. And again, so lift the hip bones to low ribs, press down into the heels, lift into gentle bridge. Spiral the thighs in toward each other, lengthen your butt bones toward the backs of your knees. Exhale, lower down one vertebra at a time. Great, we'll add the arms to that. So as you inhale, do the little pelvic tilt, then lift into your gentle bridge as you take your arms up and over in line with the ears, stretching out the whole front of the body. And then as you exhale, lower down vertebra by vertebra, taking the arms back down by your sides. Good, same thing. Inhale, pelvic tilt, and then lift up, stretching the front of the body. Good, uh-huh. And then exhale, lower back down, take the arms by your sides. Good, last one. Inhale, pelvic tilt, lift up into bridge, reach the arms up and over. Exhale, lower back down, vertebra by vertebra, taking the arms by your sides. Great. Now hug just your right knee into your chest, extend your left leg out onto the floor. Mm -hmm. Circle your right ankle in one direction. Cracking and popping. And then circle in the other direction. Good. And then inhale, extend the right leg up toward the ceiling, hold on behind the thigh or down by the calf. Flex through the ankles. <coughs> Excuse me. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. Stretch up through the ball of the foot. Good, just a little bit. Yeah. 
And now bend your knee and take your right hand onto your right shin and place your left hand onto the left hip, right to the top of the thigh. As you exhale, open the leg to the right, so get a hip stretch, but keep the left hip pressing down on the mat. Keep the left leg active with the toes pointing up toward the ceiling. And breathe here for three breaths. And two. And inhale, bring the knee back to center. And now hold it with your left hand on the shin and exhale, take it across and twist. Good, and look over your right shoulder. Move that out of the way so you have space. Three breaths here. Try and turn your belly up toward the ceiling. Good. Two. And inhale, bring the leg to center. Hug it in one more time. And then exhale, release it and extend it out. Draw your left knee into your chest. Hold on to the left shin and circle the left ankle in one direction. Mm -hmm. And reverse it. And then inhale, extend the left leg up toward the ceiling. Flex the right ankle, point the right toes up toward the ceiling. Good, lengthen out the left leg as much as you comfortably can. Hold on anywhere along the leg. Draw your left hip toward the front of the mat as you extend the leg up. And we'll stay for a couple breaths here. Good. Mm-hmm, I'm gonna press right into my hand there. Oh yeah, there you go. And now let's bend the left knee, hold on to the left shin with the left hand. Bring your right hand on top of your thigh, your right thigh. Exhale, open the leg to the left, but keep your right hip pressed down. Good. So you're getting a nice hip stretch, but you're opening with some stability in the pelvis. Good. And three long breaths. And then inhale, bring it back through center, switch hands. Exhale, bring it across and twist. Looking over the left shoulder, if that's okay, on your neck. And turn your belly toward the ceiling so that you're twisting from above the waist. So the hips will stay level as you twist more in the middle to upper back. And one more breath here. Good. <laughs> and then inhale back to center, hug the knee into the chest one last time. And exhale, release it. Stretch both legs out and inhale, reach your arms up and overhead. So as you reach your arms up, watch that your rib cage doesn't pop up. Draw it down and lengthen your sitting bones toward the heels. Good, and then as you exhale, bring your arms back down and hug both knees into your chest. And rock a little here side to side. Good. And now roll yourself all the way to your right. And using your left hand, press up, let your head come up last, so you come up nice and safely. And then make your way onto the hands and knees. And take your hips back to the heels in child's pose, but keep your arms extended in front. Good. Arms shoulders distance apart. And inhale here. As you exhale, Walk your hands to the right and shift your hips over to the left, stretching the side body. Good. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Yeah. And then as you inhale, walk the hands to center and exhale, bring them to the left, taking hips over to the right. Stretching through the right side of the body. Now walk your hands to center on your inhale. As you exhale, sweep your hands to your lower back and either hook your thumbs or interlace your fingers. 
Roll your shoulder heads away from the mat and inhale, start to lift the arms up any amount. And see if you can do that without locking out your elbows. Good, that's so much better, yes. Take one more breath here. And then release. Unclasp your hands. And then we'll reclasp with the other pinky or thumb on top. Same thing, roll the shoulder heads away. Inhale, start to lift the arms up. And you can even keep your elbows a little bit bent. If you keep your elbows a little bit bent, then you really have to move from the shoulders. And that's what we want to stretch. That way you won't overstretch anything. One more breath here. And release that and reach the arms forward again. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Good. Start to press down into the base of the fingers and lift up through the forearms. But keep the palms flat. And then make your way up onto your knees and tuck your toes. Come to downward facing dog. And then walk your feet as wide as your mat. Good, and then walk your hands as wide as your mat. You can even grab the sides of the mat if you like. And then stretch yourself back. So you have a little more space in the shoulders and in the hamstrings, so you might be able to get some more length in your spine than you normally do. Do your best to turn your outer upper arms, your triceps back, and your biceps forward. Good. And then walk your feet to hips distance apart and your arms to shoulders distance. And inhale to plank pose. Good. Take your knees to the floor. Shift your shoulders about an inch forward. Hug your elbows in lower to your belly. So we're gonna do some work on the belly. If your mat is thin, you can put a blanket underneath your pelvis and that way it won't get too squished in there. And then bring your arms forward in line with your ears. And just let your forehead or your chin rest down. Then same action that we did when we were on our backs where you were lifting the hip bones toward the lower ribs, do that here as well. You won't get as much movement because your pelvis is on the floor, but that's the action. And then inhale, lift your right leg and your left arm. Continue to lift the hip bones toward the lower ribs and that will lengthen your back. And you can lift your head if that feels comfortable, but keep the back of your neck nice and long. Take two breaths here. Good. And release and rest. Nice. Let yourself relax a moment. And then same action. Lift the hip bones toward the lower ribs. Pull the belly up. Inhale the left leg and right arm. Imagine that you're holding a block between your inner thighs so that your inner thighs spin up toward the ceiling. Take another breath here. Good, and then lower and rest. Good, we're gonna do that one more time. So next inhale, lift the hip bones toward the lower ribs, pull the belly away from the floor, lift your right leg, left arm. Good, keep the back of the neck long. Now press down on your right arm, the arm that's on the floor, and your left leg, and see if you can lift up a little bit more as you press down for three, good work. And two, and one, release it, nice. Rest a moment. And then once again, lifting hip bones to lower ribs, pulling the belly up, inhale the left leg and the right arm. Good. Now with your left hand and your right foot down pressing, press it a little bit more and see if you can lift a little bit higher. Keep the back of the neck long still. Three, long breaths here, two, and one, release and rest, good. Now we'll stay in the same position but take your arms alongside your body, straight by your sides, this way. Then same action here, so pull the belly away from the floor, hip bones lift toward lower ribs, yeah, so that your tailbone lengthens. Inhale, roll the shoulders away from the mat, lift everything up. Good, everything up. As you inhale, take your legs wide apart. 
Uh -huh. As you exhale, squeeze them together. Keep the inner thighs lifting. Again, inhale, take the legs wide. Exhale, squeeze. Last one, inhale, take them apart. And exhale, squeeze them together and then come down and rest. You can take one ear down or rest your forehead, whatever you like. Good. And then same position with the torso and the legs, but reach your arms forward in line with your ears again. And face your palms onto the floor. So touch your palms to the floor, good. Press all 10 toenails down into the floor, and that is the position you want to keep your legs in, so as if you're holding a block between your inner thighs. Inhale, lift everything up. Yep, lift it all up. As you exhale, bend your elbows, opening your chest. Bring them back. Yep. Inhale, reach them forward again. Exhale, pull them back like you're moving through water. Again, inhale, reach forward. One more, exhale, pull, make your own resistance. Really great, inhale, reach forward. Exhale, relax. You can take the other ear down if you took one ear down and rest. Good. Now we're gonna put those two moves together. So in a moment when we lift, on our exhales, we'll pull the elbows and open the legs, and on the inhales, we'll squeeze the legs and reach the arms. Got it? Yes, okay. Inhale, lift everything up. Keep lengthening sitting bones towards heels. Exhale, pull the elbows down, open the legs. Good, inhale, squeeze the legs, reach the arms. Exhale, bend the elbows, open the thighs. Great, inhale, squeeze and reach. Last one, exhale, bend and open. Good, inhale, squeeze the legs, reach the arms. Exhale, relax and rest. Yay! It's fun, right? Well, maybe fun's not the correct term, but <laughs> it's good. Now slide your hands by your low ribs and press to your knees and then back in a child's pose so you can stretch out your back. So good. So those were all of the moves that I was saying for your husband to do. <laughs> what is his name? Hugo. Hugo? Mm -hmm. So Hugo, these are the ones for your back. <laughs> now he knows. Good. <laughs> Good. Take a few moments to get really long through your spine. You can even take your knees a little wider so that you can stretch out the back a bit more. Good. And then reaching the arms forward, spread the fingers, press down onto the mat, we'll make our way into down dog again. So come up onto the knees, tuck the toes, and stretch all the way back. Good, stretch out your back here, pull your ribs and belly in, squeeze the outer hips in, lengthen your sitting bones toward the heels, but keep the spine nice and long. Good. On your inhale, float your right leg back and up, lift it from the inner thigh. And exhale, bend the knee and open up the hip. Stretch it open for a breath. Good. Now square off the hips as you inhale. Look up between the hands, lightly step it up right in the middle. Good, spin the back heel down and come to warrior two. So windmill the arms up, warrior two. And exhale here, make sure your knee is over your ankle and move it toward the little toe side of the foot as you drop your front hip down. Good, keep the front knee bent and reverse your warrior. So left hand down, right arm up. Exhale, bend into the front knee, great. And then inhale, make your way back up and exhale, windmill your arms down. Go to down dog any way you like. You can come to plank and exhale through chaturanga. You can always have your knees down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog, or you can skip all of that and just go right into down dog. Good. Inhale, floating the left leg back and up. Exhale, bend the knee, open up through the hip, press evenly through the arms and the shoulders, reach down through the right heel. Nice, and now we'll square off the hips on your inhale. Look between the hands and lightly step it right in the middle. Spin the back heel down, inhale, come to warrior two, and then exhale here. Make sure again your knee is over your ankle, 
can go a little wider. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Press through the outer edge of your back foot. Lift your back inner thigh. Move your knee toward the little toe side of the foot so it's right above the middle toes. Lift your chest, let your shoulder blades relax. Keep all of that and drop your right arm reverse. Exhale, bend into the left knee just a little. Inhale, make your way back up and exhale, windmill the arms down. Come to plank or go right to down dog, your choice. So you can lower through chaturanga or you can skip it. Good. All the way back here, stretch back. Nice and long through the spine, pull the ribs and belly in and up. Press a little more into the thumb and first finger side of the hand as you spin your outer upper arms back. And breathe here for three breaths. And two. Take one more long breath in, exhale everything out, bend the knees, look up past your fingers and lightly step or hop your feet forward. Then inhale, come halfway up, lengthen your spine and fold as you exhale, bending the knees as needed. Press down through the feet, come up with a long spine on your inhale, look up, lengthen and exhale, bring the hands down. Good, so just a little bit of balance in tree pose. So ground down through your left leg first and pick up your right foot, take it anywhere below your knee or above your knee. You can always rest the ball of the foot on the floor as well. Find a spot to focus on something that isn't moving. Keep your attention there. And when you feel ready, inhale and reach your arms up. And try and drop down through your right hip and squeeze your left hip in towards center. But keep the front ribs drawing in, reach out through arrow straight arms. But let your shoulder blades relax. Just three breaths here. If you come out of it, it's no big deal. You just come back in. Two. And release the arms. And release the leg. Good. So now we'll ground down through the right leg. And we'll pick up the left foot. Again, take it anywhere below or above your knee. Anywhere but on the knee joint is fine. You can always keep the ball of the foot on the floor for a little extra support. Whenever you feel ready, add the arms. Keep a steady gazing point that'll help with your balance. Spin the triceps in toward each other. Drop down through your left hip and squeeze your right hip in towards center. Just three breaths. One more breath. Really nice, release the arms and release the leg. Wow, you guys are so good. Your balance is on, it's just on point. So back to the front of the mat in Tadasana. If you like to pad up your knees for a low lunge, grab your blanket and put it about at the middle of your mat. Because the floor is hard, so. Take care of those knees. And then come back to Tadasana at the front. Good. Feet together or hip socket distance apart. And then inhale, reach the arms up. As you exhale, hinge from your hips and fold forward. Then inhale, lengthen your spine, look up. Bend your knees, plant your palms, step your right foot back and take your right knee down. Keep the left knee over the ankle and inhale, come into low lunge. Pull your left hip back. Again, lifting the hip bones toward the lower ribs like we've done before and then sink forward. Good. Then face your palms to the front. Same action as when we were on our belly. Inhale, exhale, bend your elbows. But this time we'll circle all the way around. Inhale, reach up, pull the left hip back. Exhale, bend the elbows like you're moving through water. Make some resistance. One more, inhale. And exhale. And bring your hands all the way down to the mat. Come to plank pose. You can lift from here right into down dog or if you prefer chaturanga, halfway or all the way down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And tuck the toes, exhale, down dog. As you inhale, float your right leg back and up. Lift it from the inner thigh so your hips are level. 
Look to your right hand, step it all the way through by the right thumb. If it doesn't make it, of course, pick it up and put it there. Take your left knee down. Inhale, come to low lunge. So we're gonna pull the right hip back again, lifting the hip bones toward the lower ribs and then sink forward any amount. Good, face your palms to the front, inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows, open the chest, sweep the arms around. Again, inhale, reach. Exhale, bend, opening the chest, right where that block was in the beginning of class, open there. One more, inhale. And exhale, open the chest. And then bring your hands all the way down, a little tricky. We're gonna step the left foot all the way to the front. Not super tricky, but a little. Then inhale, lengthen, look up. And exhale to fold. Press down through the feet, reach all the way on your inhale. And exhale, bring the hands down. I'm gonna do one more, except we'll do it a little bit differently. So first, inhale, bend the knees, come to chair. Sit back. Exhale, belly to thighs and fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, look up. Then bend the knees, plant the palms, step your left foot back and left knee down. This time, keep your left hand either on the floor or you can put it on a block and reach your right arm up and twist. Good, reach up tall through the right arm, inhale. Exhale, sweep it back behind you, make a circle all the way around. Mm -hmm. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, circle. One more time, inhale, reach it up. Exhale, make a circle. Bring it down to the mat, step to plank. And same thing, you can go right to down dog or you can lower chaturanga halfway or all the way down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And exhale, back into down dog. As you inhale, float the left leg up from the inner thigh, level hips. As you exhale, step it up by the left hand, right by the thumb, right knee down. So we'll keep the right fingertips down either on the floor or if it doesn't quite reach, put them on a block. And then left arm up and twist. Pull your left hip back, lift your right hip away from the floor so you can keep the hips as level as they'll stay. Inhale, reach up, exhale, take the left arm back and circle it around. And two more times, inhale, reach it up. Exhale, circle. Good, last one, inhale. Exhale, circle it around, bring it to the floor. So tricky again, we're stepping the right foot all the way to the front of the mat. Inhale, look up to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale, bend the knees, drop the hips, come to chair pose where we'll pause a moment. Don't get too scared, it won't stay that long. Bring your hands to your heart, lean your torso forward over the legs, then hook your left arm across and twist. Now check out your knees. If your left knee is ahead of the right knee, pull your left hip back so that they're even. Press the palms in toward the center of the chest. Keep the hips level, twisting again from above the waist. Take one more breath. And then come to center and fold forward, straighten the knees as much as you like. Let your head hang. If the legs are straight, shift the weight toward the balls of the feet. Good. Inhale, bend the knees again, drop the hips, come back to chair pose, reach up. Weight into the heels, bring your hands to heart center, lean your torso forward over the leg, and now hook your right arm across. And then check out your knees. If the right knee goes ahead of the left, pull the right hip back. Again, twisting from above the waist. In your mind's eye, feel where the block was in the beginning of class and try to move your shoulder blades forward toward the chest, <coughs> widening your chest. One more breath. And then come to center and fold in. Take your feet to hips width apart if they aren't and grab your elbows. Gently rock yourself here side to side. Good. And then let your arms hang down. And lightly nod your head yes. And turn it no. No, I don't want to leave Morocco. <laughs> Take a little bend in the knees, bring your hands to your hips, and come all the way up to standing. Good. So we're gonna come to the floor and we'll set up and do just a couple restorative poses as we cool down. 
Doesn't take much to heat up here, does it? Yeah. All right, so back to Tadasana. Inhale and reach the arms up. Exhale, hinge from the hips and fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, look up. Exhale, stepping or floating back, find Chaturanga. Or you can skip it and go to Down Dog. Inhale, Up Dog or Cobra if you're taking the Vinyasa. And exhale to Down Dog. And then looking forward, we'll bend the knees, either stepping or hopping to seated. Good. And then extend your legs out in front of you. Grab your bolster, and at home, if you don't have a bolster, it's fine. You can use some pillows. Cushions off the couch work really well. I use those sometimes. Take your bolster to the right side of your right hip, perpendicular to your hip. I'm just gonna do a little twist here that I love. First, bend your left knee and bring your left heel toward the outside of the hip, but don't worry, it's not going to be extreme. Bring your hands on either side of your bolster. Then inhale, lengthen your spine. As you exhale, take your belly down toward the bolster. Let both knees bend as much or as little as they want to. And then you can rest your right ear down, or if you want more intensity, take your left ear down. And we'll be here for a couple of minutes. So as you're here, just allow yourself to completely relax. Allow your shoulders to release. Let your jaw become soft. Remove the tongue from the roof of your mouth. And just natural breathing. Let's do your best to just let your belly release, letting go of any tension. Take two more long breaths here. And then as you take your next inhale, slide your hands underneath your shoulders. And as you exhale, press yourself back up. And then you'll extend the legs in front of you. And then you'll just pick up your bolster and take it to the left hip. I'll turn this way because I've run out of room. So now the bolster is perpendicular to the left hip. And bend your right knee back. And then bring your arms on either side of your cushion, bolster, pillows. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Turning the belly toward the bolster. Exhale, come forward. You can take your left ear down. Or if you want more intensity, bring your right ear down. Take a few moments to settle in so that you're comfortable. And then once you get comfortable, then just relax. Sometimes that's the hardest thing to do is just allow your body to completely let go. But remember you set this time aside for yourself. So there's nothing to do and nowhere to go right now.
quickly scan to see if there's any tension being held any place in your body. If you find any, consciously let it go. So you take your next inhale, slide your hands underneath your shoulders. As you exhale, slowly make your way back up. Good. And then extend both legs again in front of you. And we'll put the bolster on top of the legs. You can also add another blanket or bolster or blocks. And don't worry about keeping your legs firm. You can just let them relax a little bit and then fold forward and let your head rest on something. Even if you make fists with your hands and rest it on the hands, that's great. Yep, yeah, just fold forward. And then again, let yourself completely relax. Let your back round if it wants to. So in the restorative postures, we're not so concerned about keeping the alignment precise. What we're concerned about is letting your body and your mind relax. Take two more breaths here. And then walk your hands up so you can use them to help press yourself up. Inhale, coming all the way up. And then you can move your props off to the side. And bend your knees and make your way onto your back. Use your hands if you have any issues with your back. If you want a little belly strengthening, you can do without the hands, but only if your back is good. And with the knees bent, walk your feet as wide as your mat so that the outer edges of your feet touch the outer edges of your mat. Bring your arms alongside the mat, and they're straight out, or you can bend the elbows. And then drop your knees over to the left, keeping the legs wide, and look over your right shoulder. <laughs> You can stay with this, or if you want a deeper twist, you'll take your left heel and put it on your right knee. Good. Take three long breaths. And then releasing the left foot off of the right knee, come back to center, keeping your feet as wide as the mat still. And now take your knees over to the right, looking over your left shoulder. 
And again, if you want that deeper twist, you'll pick up your right foot, put it on your left knee or leg or above the knee, really. Good. Try and turn your belly up toward the ceiling as you twist. For three long breaths. And then release your foot off of your leg. Bring your knees back to center. Hug them both into your chest. Give your knees a hug. Lengthen your sitting bones toward the floor to stretch out your back. And then from here, we'll make our way into our final resting pose into Shavasana. So take a few moments to get comfortable. If you want to put a bolster under your knees or a blanket under your head. If you want to cover up, you can cover up. We have eye pillows here. You can put an eye pillow, whatever you like. Once you get into your comfortable position, just allow yourself to stay in it completely relaxed. Your quiet mind and your quiet body for Shavasana. Right where you are, take a couple longer, deeper breaths. Begin to make some little movements in your fingers and your toes, in your hands and your feet. And take a long stretch out through your arms and legs. Take your arms down by your sides, bend your knees, take your feet onto the floor or the bolster. And then roll yourself onto your right side and pause there a moment to come back to the personal intention that you set for your practice. Honor your intention and honor yourself for coming to your mat to take your practice today. And then using your left hand, press yourself up. Let your head come up last. And take a comfortable seat. We'll bring the hands together in Anjali Mudra, sitting tall with the eyes closed for a quote today from 
the poet Mary Oliver. To live in this world, you must be able to do three things. To love what is mortal, to hold it against your bones knowing your own life depends on it, and when the time comes to let it go, to let it go. Now let's bring our hands together to the forehead to remind us to have clear and loving thoughts. And our hands to the heart center to remind us to have clear and loving intentions. And the hands to the mouth to remind us to have clear and loving communications. So we send out this positive, loving energy we created today to all beings everywhere. Namaste. Good work. All right, I think we're ready to ride a camel. <laughs> That video will be somewhere else. <laughs> Thank you guys. Good job. Yay. <laughs>